Good morning, everyone. Uh, Dave Weiner here, and I want to very quickly give you a demo uh, to show you how scripting works in Fargo. So the first thing, um, well, let me just say this is Fargo, and um, you can see I've got my status outline here. I've got a little bit of a blog, and there are some posts in here. Um, you can see there's a whole bunch more stuff. Um, and uh, so now I want to create a menu bar. And that's where you put the scripts. You want to put the scripts up here in the menu bar. So this is how you do it. Go new, menu bar. So menu bar is a special outline. So it knows that anything that's in menu bar should be put into the menu bar. And so um, I'm going to come up with a title for my menu. And I'm going to put a command in there that says hello world, and then say alert. So the language is JavaScript, and alert is um, one of the built-in uh, verbs in that language. And what it does is it puts in a nice little dialog that says whatever you tell it to say. So there's my menu, my scripts. I choose hello world, and it comes up and says there it is, a little world. Uh, I can make it a little nicer um, by using here dialog alert. That gets me one of the Bootstrap Toolkit dialogs. So, and then I go here and I choose hello world. Oops, wait. Ugh. Sorry about that. And then it says hello world. It refreshed the menu while I was selecting the command. That points out one of the nice things about this is that the menu. You don't have to do anything to get the menu to update. So if I, you know, just want to type in another command and say alert of hi mom, well, I just have to wait for a second or two. There you go. I saw the little flash there. And it doesn't update on every keystroke, basically. It waits for you to pause a little bit. And then it says hi mom. So now I want to show you a little bit more sophisticated script and rather than make you sit here and wait for me to type it um, I'll just go get it from an app off screen and just paste it in here and this script does a lot more than put up a dialogue um, it does stuff with the outliner and what it does is it uh, takes a list of items and it expands every item in the list so rather than having to go to each item to make them expand, uh, the script does it for me. And this is a feature that Fargo doesn't have. Uh, there are a lot of things like this that you could do. If we did them all, it would be you know, horribly confusing. But you can see there's not a whole lot to this script, but it is a scripting language. And um, So let me show you how it works. So go over to my blog and put the cursor on July 2013. You can see there are a bunch of items here. I go to the My Scripts menu and I choose Expand Each Subhead. And exactly as advertised, it shows me each of the items expanded. And that's that here. Let me show you again. Watch. You ready? Boom. So obviously, there's a lot more that you can do. Uh, Fargo verbs can make requests over the web or they can post things to WordPress. Uh, there are all kinds of hooks in that allow you to program the outliner. Um, so it's a it's got a lot of depth to it, and you know it's a nice beginning. We can add a lot more functionality to it, and um, hope to do that. So anyway, that's how uh, scripting works in Fargo. Bye bye.